Hello my Virgo friends, this is Kristen Redman and today we are going to go over the planetary aspects that are going to be making the most impact for you in this upcoming positive year of 2017. So this year, a bit of an overview, the most uh, impacted areas of your life are going to be in personal growth and in development. Okay, this is going to be a big year for that for you. And it's also about establishing new foundations or reestablishing them, fixing them, whatever it is that's going to be a goal for you this year. And relationships, <laughs> electric energy that hits your relationship house um, like it hasn't in quite some time. So uh, let's get right to it. Virgos, my hardworking, wonderful earth sign friends. So that's the thing here with earth signs. You know, you are so practical and down to earth and you are all about the tangible items in this lifetime, especially with our money and how we make it, okay? What is it that that physical body does and how does it bring us the money we need for the physical resources we need? That especially talks to you, Virgo. You are such a hardworking sign. You are so committed to being of service to others. And in the process, sometimes you forget yourself. I will say that most certainly, but you do work so hard and you take such great enjoyment being of service to mankind. You are the doctors and the psychiatrists and the lawyers and the ones that really care deeply about others and their health. Maybe not lawyers, that's more Libra. The doctors and psychologists, definitely. Anybody that works with the health field. But anyway, long and short of it. So you're very focused on money, okay, because Earth is all about those types of things. We need that in this Earth and we need a job in this Earth to make it work. So this year, okay, Libra is going, or Jupiter, I'm sorry, is the planet of luck and expansion, and it's moving through Libra. It started in September last year, okay, and when it goes through Libra, it takes 14 years to get back there, okay, but when Jupiter, that planet of luck, lands in Libra, it really starts to balance the scales in our lives, okay, it depends on what house it's in, where it's going to be biggest impact for you. And for you, my Virgo friends, it's impacting the area of finances most. Bringing balance to the scales in our financial matters, okay, and how we make our money. Yeah, so this is going to be one of the luckiest abundance cycles that you've seen in about 14 years, okay? Jupiter's really starting to bring that luck back to you well over a decade. So with that, you're also going to have a little bit more confidence. That luck is going to bring you confidence to negotiate a better salary, okay? Maybe have that confidence and that push to get a job, and it's going to give you that networking capability to meet that person that can get you that foot in the door, that gets you that job, that gets you more money. <laughs> That's the year. This is the year. 2017 is such an optimistic year. And I know you started feeling changes last year, especially when Jupiter started moving in there. Those scales started getting a little weird. And I bet internally you as well started feeling a little unsettled and restless when it came to the area of finances and your work. Okay. So now... Those unexpected things that kind of happened that triggered these things in 2017 lead to positive results in 2017 for you. This is going to be a year where you really start rethinking your financial strategies and how you use your money, how you save your money, how you invest your money, especially in the area of March 24th until April 2nd. And let me tell you why. That's because Ver or, uh, Venus, the planet of love and money, is going to be going retrograde. And when Venus goes retrograde, that's the planet of love and money, all right, and we look to the past, retro, we look to the past to see how we have dealt with both of those areas. So that's going to be a time for really restructuring those finances and how we spend that money that we work so, you, Virgo, work so hard for. You really do. Uh, so find that time frame of, I mean, especially, uh, March 24th to April 2nd there, that week of time they're really saying is going to be a strong time for you to really, really focus on those new structures. But I'm going to say also from an, you know, an intuitive standpoint here as well, take advantage of that Venus retrograde which begins at the beginning of March and goes until April 15th. I would say it's going to be a fine, fine time for you to do that. Powerful transformations, not only around the physical worth that we have, but the self-worth that you have for yourself too, Virgos. You beat yourself up so hard. Golly, golly, you do. 
You really do. You give so much to yourself of others, and then in the process, you don't really take care of yourself. This year starts to transform that as well. You're going to see a regeneration in that bank of self-worth in yourself like you haven't seen in 14 years either. It's time to refill that so you have that confidence to get that new job, get that promotion, get that raise, and get that money. By golly, Virgo, you're going to get it this year, okay? Radical choices may prevent them pre present themselves to you to make this happen and that's going to bring you new freedom in those finances look for these radical changes that happen between september 26th and october 26th okay this is going to be a time when mars starts going through your sign of virgo firing things up mars is that one that initiates things that leads things that makes things happen and that could be a time frame when these things really start to work for you okay Yes, so that's what's happening money-wise. On the home front for you, Virgo, Saturn in Sagittarius is ending a 30-year cycle in your house of home and family, um, which really, it's, I mean, that's a big cycle to be ending. I mean, really, you're going to be going back 30 years in your life, and you're really going to be starting to uh, question about stability and the meaning of home and the importance of family. These types of things are going to be restructured in your brain as well, okay? It's a 30-year cycle, okay? So you're going to be really looking to the past for things that really make those massive changes in your home and your family. So the next 12 months, really revising plans about where you want to live, who you want to live with, and the improvements that need to be made in both, okay? A lot of focus on that for you this year but you know what expect positive changes to come out of that okay a lot of wonderful changes are going to be coming out of that for you this year so expect those positive changes especially in the time frame and I know this is a short window of time but August 26th through the 31st okay is going to present a time when I feel that you have filtered and structured and restructured in your mind and you're ready to come out with new plans in that time frame of August 26th through the 31st so not only with those family relationships, let's go move into our more intimate relationships, our one-on-one -on -one relationships, our friendships. Virgo, Mars is going to be in Pisces at the beginning of this year, okay? Pisces is about feeling the emotions of others and being deeply in tune with that and others. and uh, So it's really going to push you, okay, to take action in your dating and your relationships really start seeing their side of the situation a little bit more, feeling a little more empathic or empathy towards their feelings and their emotions and their needs. It's really going to be a change for you this year. And not only that, but you're going to be able to speak up because Mars is about really being assertive. You're going to find that way to speak up about what it is that you do really want. Okay, because remember, Virgos, sometimes we tend, or they, I'm not a, I'm not a Virgo, but they tend to... Uh, focus so much on the work that they do for others like you're that person that's like okay honey I'm gonna go wash your car I'm gonna go fill it up with gas I'm gonna go get, do all of these physical acts right and then you don't necessarily get that in return that's how you're showing your love in physical standard ways uh, but that you're not necessarily getting those types of ways back so this year you're gonna really focus on how it is that you need to be loved in return and you're gonna have that assertiveness to say you know what honey I kind of need the gas filled in my car, too, because that makes me feel like my love tank is full. So a lot of that's going to be worked on this year. Uh, new connections are also going to be made, too. For those of you that aren't in a relationship, um, and the power of attraction for you when it comes to relationships is at an absolute high for you, absolute high this year, especially between January 27th to February 3rd, and then again, April 3rd to the 28th. Okay, the Venus retrograde that happens, remember I said that beginning of March until uh, April 15th, that is going to be a time when you really get a second chance on these missed opportunities from earlier in 2017. Okay, so you're going to find that right now maybe some things are happening where there's a little bit, or even at the end of the last year where you missed a relationship opportunity, you um, really want a second chance with that. That Venus retrograde is going to provide that for you. Okay. Um, now, another thing in astrology is that eclipses kind of signify, well, they don't kind of, they do, they signify new beginnings. They represent new cycles that happen in our life. And where these eclipses land in your chart, especially in your personal chart, okay, is going to indicate where the most change is going to happen for you this year. 
I would always say contact me directly to have a personal chart reading done so we can get a little bit more fine-tuned with what this is. But for the Virgos in general, where these eclipses are happening this year are in your relationship houses. So it would not surprise me, Virgos, if that goes be the same if you were to do a reading with me as well but you can always do that too I have a link uh, below where you can contact me directly for one but let's talk about Virgo in general with those relationships and the eclipses the new beginnings that happen starting mid-January until mid-April this is gonna be the first part of the eclipse season bold new beginnings are gonna be happening fresh starts want to happen in these relationships for you Okay, main thing is though, we're going to have to let go of some old baggage, <laughs> okay, whether it's an old person, an old connection to an ex, um, old personality traits within us that don't really serve in terms of a relationship, got to go, time to go, time for it to go. So we got to let it go, let the past go, and we got to let the healing come in, and that's such an energy that's going to be happening for you in these eclipses uh, that start in February. Okay, really big time for that. So keep an eye out for that. And also Neptune is going to be, has been, it started in 2011. And it's going to keep on going through your relationship until 2025. So you got Neptune. It's going to take a minute to get through this relationship house for you. Thing is, like I said earlier in one of these things, it's calling for you to kind of, as an earth sign, it's easy to get caught up in the tangible reality of things that we don't focus on the water of ourselves. And that's our emotional selves and the emotional selves of those around us, okay? Neptune is going through your sign, shifting that, changing that. It started in 2011, and it's going to keep on trucking on through there for quite a while longer, so get used to it. Calling you to get in touch with that inner self. Get in touch and show your feelings more with your partner, okay? And a little bit more openly in those relationships as well. And you're going to start trusting from the bottom of your heart, okay? Uh, and let go of false dreams about love that you may have had as well, too, because Neptune has an ability to kind of take those foggy glasses off of us so we can see things a little bit clearer. Uh, where we may have been disillusioned in love in the past, Neptune's going to take those glasses off so you can see things clearer. That is love for y'all, Virgos. Now we're going to move on into career. Woo! <laughs> in the direction of our life for 2017. So this is going to be the year where you're going to be taking action, like I said. And not only that, not only really finding that confidence to really push for what it is that you want, opportunities are going to come to you because you've been such a dang hard worker, Virgo. You are the hardest worker. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know who notices? The universe. And this year, it's going to start giving back to you. It is. And you know why? Because Mars is going to be making some big impacts in all of the social houses and the air signs this year really helping you to be assertive in your communication with others to get what you want. You're going to be noticed. And I see a lot of promotions happening to management positions to that showcase your leadership skills as well, Virgos. This year I see a lot of that, a lot of emphasis on these new beginnings, new phases in careers, new careers where your ability to lead is brought to the forefront. And you know what that does? It increases the income. <laughs> like we talked about earlier so june 13th through the 20th okay pay attention to professional risks that appear that seem risky a little bit too risky than you earthy virgos would normally want to take act on it okay because jupiter that jupiter that's bringing you the luck for your finances this year it's opposing this planet uranus that brings us unexpected things really quickly so Jupiter's trying to bring you this money, and you know how it's going to do it is in unexpected ways. And little windows of opportunity are going to pop up throughout the year for all of you where you're going to see these really quick unexpected opportunities. Make sure you pay attention to them, okay, because they will pay off. They really will, especially in that area of June 13th through the 20th. Keep an eye out for those. Keep an eye out for those, okay? So we've got career. we got all that. Let's talk about you, Virgo, and the happiness that you want to have. You this year, I feel, are going to feel a major push to be going back to school, to learning new things. Maybe that's part of this for you to get a new career. Maybe it's part of just that increasing of the self-worth within yourself to make more money. I see a lot of people going back to school, whether it's seminars, physically going to a college, online courses, something along those lines to further your education. I see a lot of that happening, especially when Jupiter moves out of Libra. It's balanced the scales on a financial level. It moves into the next sign for you, which is going to have to do with traveling. So you may find that you're traveling more for work, maybe that's what's going to happen, um, or 
you're going to need to be more in the public eye. Definitely. So I see that happening too. A lot of happiness that comes from increasing the knowledge bank. Um, definitely the summer is going to give you a lot of opportunities for you to socialize more. And you're really going to sparkle in it too because Mars is making so many impacts on you on a social level this year where you're a little bit more vocal than you normally are. You know, Virgos uh, tend to be quiet sometimes. So this year is going to be a little different. You may be a little bit out of your shell. So um, another thing too is that you're going to be focused more on your health. Virgo is normally a sign that's more health conscious. Um, you're ones that kind of tend to the diet and the body more because your sign represents the physical body. Uh, this year there's going to be a big push for that when Mars, that planet of energy, there we go again, goes through your sign and that's September 5th through October 22nd. Uh, don't be surprised if you start a new diet regimen at that time or you get a little bit healthier with your choices and you start busting out the green smoothies before work. Whatever it is, follow that push because it's going to really give you the gusto you need to do what it is you need to do. Um, but before that time frame, in the summer, even though you're going to have a lot of increased social connections and invitations and things along those lines, I see that you're going to be really into your downtime. And you're going to recognize because you work so hard all the time and you're so exhausted all the time that this summer you start to recognize the importance of your downtime and how vital it is for your health. That could very well be that in this time frame between July 20th through September 5th is when you finally realize how important it is to take that downtime and how much you've neglected your body. And that's why you want to start that health regimen come September 5th to October 22nd. I see that really shifting and changing and bringing you some really positive changes, not only for your body, but for your mindset. And that um, ultimately the mind, body, spirit connection. So you're going to notice that it enhances your intuition, your spiritual connection, and all those three systems work in harmony. Okay. Yay for summertime. Yay. And what it brings. So now let's focus on specific birthdays. Okay, Virgos, now not everybody's birthday is going to be on here, okay, but you may find that parts of these resonate for you uh, because maybe your personal chart goes with one of these a little bit better than what I have here. If not, like I said, always contact me. My link is below. We can do a one-hour reading and we'll go through all the high points of your birth chart, what's coming up for the year, and where Jupiter is making the biggest impacts for you as well. But anyway, birthdays. If you have a birthday between August 22nd and September 9th, this year, that Jupiter, that lucky, lucky expanding Jupiter that pushes us out of our boundaries is going to be making a harmonious connection with your Virgo sun. Okay, what's that mean, Kristen Redman? It means that you're going to expand, that opportunities are going to be so abundant for you, and that it's going to be easy to create and manifest these big dreams and goals that you've been focusing on for a while, okay? A lot of opportunity for that to really expand yourself beyond those limitations that you've set in the past. Goodbye boundaries. Goodbye limitations. That's you this year. That really truly is August 22nd through September 9th birthdays. A lot of focus on adventure this year too. You're ready to kind of um, not just uh, go beyond those boundaries. Jupiter rules Sagittarius and Sagittarius is about exploration. So whether it's you literally exploring new lands by traveling or it's you exploring new mental horizons through studying new topics, new subjects, new things. No matter what it is, you're going to feel a sense of adventure. It could even be an awesome uh, fiction novel that you read, something that helps your mind to transcend that body and to dream bigger, because that's what Jupiter is all about as well. So definitely for you this year, a fantastic, opportunistic, uh, and optimistic year for y'all. So now, if your birthday is September 1st through the 7th, not only do you have that luck of Jupiter behind you like everything I just said, but you also have Neptune, that planet of dreams and illusions. Remember, we talked about that earlier. It's in opposition with your sun, okay? So this year is going to be not only fantastic thanks to Jupiter, but on the shadow side of it, you're going to have to let go of a lot of things. You're going to really notice, too, intuitively what's got to go. Okay, and when you do, when you surrender these things to God and to the universe to take away, it's going to replace it with beautiful new opportunities thanks to Jupiter. Right behind it, right behind it. So just know you've got that behind you. Um, and you're going to take a lot of more time out this year to create space for you to meditate, to pray, uh, and just to be alone so you can create things 
uh, you explore your creative side more to create things and express yourself that way. And also to meditate and to pray and just to focus on your direct connection with God as well in the spiritual realm. A lot of that for you this year. So now if your birthday is September 9th through the 12th, not only do you, the 9th especially, if your birthday is September 9th, wow, what a year this is going to be for you. I tell you right now. Um, so, and I just did a reading for a wonderful woman the other day that her birthday is September 9th. Aha, Mrs. Author, I hope you're watching this one because this is a good year for you. By golly, you are. Anyway, so not only do you have those two things we just talked about, okay, it's also Pluto, the planet that brings a lot of transformation. It's transformation through endings, though. It's going to be making a harmonious connection with your sun. So you're going to find that you're turning your attention inward, okay, and exploring the depths of who you are as a person a little bit more. You're going to be focused on that self-transformation, okay, because Pluto transforms and your sun represents yourself. We're talking about inner transformation for yourself. Not just everybody else because I know you're so focused on helping other people all the time, but dang it, let's focus on you this year. Major focus this year. It's a purging and purifying process that helps you to realize the past let things go, and to create space for the future by letting these things go, surrendering them to God, okay? And it frees up some energy for you and what your soul is meant to do on this earth, right? Year of empowerment for you. And uh, really being able to navigate through previous control issues that you may have had in relationships. Uh, when I say that, it's because Pluto kind of deals a lot with uh, power struggles that we have in our relationships. And uh, this year, a lot of that's going to come into focus for you, where you may give your power away too much to others or where you may try to control others a little bit. So those are the birthdays in particular that are being affected this year. Let's do like I do every week with my weekly readings. Let's do one for the year for you. Now, no Virgo that Archangel Metatron is always your angel. He is the angel for Virgo energy. He is the angel of sacred geometry that cleanses and clears all of our energy centers, our chakras, and our energy field. And you can see why, because this is a year for major transformation for a lot of you Virgos, okay? He's going to get those energy fields cleared out so you can get your receptive ears and your intuition and your mind working a little bit harder so you can hear the guidance that they're trying to bring you to get these new opportunities to come through. So Archangel Metatron's always around, always around helping you. But let's see what other angel or spirit is going to be helping you throughout this coming year. So let's see, I feel it really strong here. Okay, yeah. Aw, look at that, the angel of the heart center. Mm. Archangel Ariel, and you know what's awesome about this one is because Ariel rules Aries. She's the angel that helps us manifest what we want, and Aries is ruled by Mars, and Mars is really pushing you to be more assertive this year, and in the process of that, you may feel kind of bad <laughs> at times, but it's needed, and this rose quartz, this stone that represents Archangel Ariel, she helps you manifest what you want. She helps you get in tune with nature, so she's pushing you to get out in tune with nature, because that's where you're going to hear her the strongest. But this stone, the rose quartz, main function of it is to cleanse and clear the heart center, okay? Removes old emotional wounds. It removes horrible pains from the past that accumulate in this heart center that block us from receiving, okay? This year it's about receiving, right, for you. Get yourself a rose quartz. Put it near your heart center. Ask for Ariel to come through and help you along with Metatron to cleanse and clear the rest of those, but especially the emotional baggage that needs to be let go. We talked a lot about that. So we know who's there. Let's ask Archangel Ariel for our Virgo friends. What advice do you have for us this year? I am going to do this four times because four is the heart center where she is focusing her energy and releasing and letting go and surrendering. Oh, that's a weird shuffle. Last one here, Ariel, what do you need our Virgo friends to know? Ah, oh, the sun. Isn't that something? Okay. She is assuring, this is such a fantastic card, one of the best cards to get in the tarot deck, okay? Because you know what it, it um, for one, I'm just going to point this out. There's four sunflowers here, right? I just said four. <laughs> four is the heart center, bringing happiness and peace and balance uh, in the giving and receiving process that goes through our heart, which brings us everything in our life, everything that we've been asking for. This guarantees that it's coming through, that a happy outcome is on the way, and brilliant success is yours. You're shining. It's the sun. 
you are able to be that strong, earthy Virgo self that you are. Brilliant new ideas will come through that lead to that success. Okay, so keep an eye out for those like we talked earlier. And above all, have confidence in yourself, right? And who's bringing you that? Mars. Who's Mars? Aries and, and Ariel, Archangel Ariel, helping you to stay strong and confident in your needs and your wants and vocalizing them to get them done. So Virgos, what a wonderful year you have ahead of you. Okay, self-transformation and bringing in that dream career and money that you need and stability and structure through the heart center. So from my heart center to yours, everyone, all you Virgos have a happy 2017. Bye.